Welcome to this video about doubling time. We first study doubling time in linear growth. Suppose that you will put some money in a bank account. We place $10 in the bank. Then we wait one year. After one year, the bank gives you $1, which means that your money in the bank account is now $11. Then you wait another year until the bank gives you $1 again. If you continue like this, we see that our savings have doubled after 10 years. This means that the doubling time is 10 years. Since our money increases with the same amount, $1 every year, a straight line can be used to describe the growth of the money over the years. We can describe the linear growth with this equation, where t is the time in years, and m is the slope, or how much money that is added to your bank account every year. b is the initial amount of money on the account, and y is how much money there is in the bank account at a certain time point. Since we know that the slope is equal to 1, because $1 is added every year, we can set m to 1. And since we initially have $10, we set B to 10. To calculate the doubling time, we set Y to 20, because that is twice as much as the initial amount. We can now solve this equation for T. If you do the math, we see that the doubling time is 10 years. To calculate the doubling time, we therefore know that Y should be twice as big as B which means that the left-hand side should be equal to 2 times b. If we subtract b from both sides, we will get the following equation. And if we solve for t, we see that the doubling time for linear growth is the intercept b divided by the slope, m. Suppose that we start with $12, and that the bank puts $2 in the account each year, which means that the slope is equal to 2. The doubling time is then 6 years, because that is how long it takes to double the money. However, doubling time is usually used in association with exponential growth, which means that the money grows by a certain proportion every year. Same as before, we place $10 in the bank. We wait one year, but this time we get 7% interest which means that the money increases by 7%. The money in the bank account therefore grows from $10 to $10.70. After two years, the money will increase to about $11.50. Note that more money is added to the account after year two, because we now multiply 0 0.07 by 10.7 instead of 10. Each year, the money grows by 7%. We see that the money has doubled after about 10 years. Remember from the previous lectures that we used the following equation to calculate the discrete growth over time, where r is the growth rate, which in this example is 7% per year, y0 is the initial amount we have in the bank account. Also, in the previous lecture, we saw how to go from this equation to this equation, where E is the Euler's number, and K is the continuous growth rate, which can be calculated like this based on the discrete growth rate, R. If we would calculate the doubling time based on this equation, we would, same as before, set the left-hand side to be equal to twice the initial amount, which is here denoted as y0. After dividing both sides by y0, we'll have the following equation. Then we take the natural log of both sides and simplify the right-hand side because the natural log of e is equal to 1. After dividing both sides by k, we'll have our final equation to calculate the doubling time. Remember that k is the continuous growth rate which can be calculated based on the discrete growth rate, 
Doubling time can therefore also be expressed like this, where we instead have the discrete growth rate in the denominator. Let's say that we like to calculate the doubling time based on an interest rate of 7% per year. If you do the math, we see that the doubling time is about 10 years. Note that we double the money at 10.24 years, given that we have continuous growth. But if we have discrete growth rate, we have to wait 11 years before we have doubled the money. We'll now go through some examples of how to compute and use the doubling time. Suppose that you put $100 in a bank account. How long does it take to double this money if the bank gives an interest rate of 2% per year? To calculate the doubling time, we plug in 0 0.02 in the equation including the discrete growth rate. If you do the math, we see that we would need to wait 35 years before the money has doubled. Now, suppose that you put $100 in a bank account and you want to wait only 10 years before the money has doubled. What interest rate would you need? To answer this, we first need to solve this equation for R like this. We then plug in the doubling time and do the math. We see that we would need an interest rate of about 7%. In this example we will look at tumor cells. Tumor cells may divide every 12th hour. What is the continuous and discrete growth rate of the population given that no cells die? We know that the doubling time is 12 hours because one cell divides into two new cells every 12th hour. We start by solving this equation for k, like this. Then we plug in the doubling time and do the math. We see that the continuous growth rate is about 0 0.058 per hour. We know that the continuous growth rate is calculated like this if we know the discrete growth rate r. If you solve this equation for R, we'll get the following equation. If you do the math, we see that the discrete growth rate is about 5.9%. This means that the population of tumor cells increases by about 5.9% each hour. Remember that the continuous growth rate is approximately equal to the discrete growth rate for small values. In this example, we will look at bacteria. Some bacteria may divide every 20 minutes. Suppose that you have 100 bacteria that divide every 20 minutes. How many bacteria do we have after 5 hours, given that no bacteria die during the 5 hours? We can use the following equation to calculate how many bacteria we have after a certain time. We know that y0 should be equal to 100 because we start with 100 bacteria. We now need to calculate k based on the doubling time of 20 minutes. We plug in the doubling time in this equation and compute the continuous growth rate to about 0 0.035 per minute. This means that the bacteria population increases by approximately 3.5% per minute. We plug in the values of y0 and k in the equation and the time in minutes. Since k has the unit per minute, we must convert the time from hours to minutes, which means that we multiply 5 by 60. If you do the math, we see that we have about 3.6 million bacteria after only 5 hours. However, these calculations are very sensitive to rounding. We previously rounded the calculations of k to 0 0.035, a better alternative is to plug in the calculation of k directly in the equation, which will give a more accurate value of the number of bacteria after 5 hours. So, final example. In this example, we have 10,000 tumor cells that have been cultured. 
After six hours, there are 14,000 cells. Calculate the doubling time for the tumor cells by assuming exponential growth and that no cells die. We plug in that we have 10,000 cells from the start and that we have 14,000 cells after six hours. We now solve this equation for k. We divide both sides by 10,000 and take the natural log of both sides. Simplify and solve for k. We see that the continuous exponential growth rate is about 0 0.056. We then use the equation for the doubling time, where we plug in the value of k and do the math. We see that the doubling time of the tumor cells is about 12.4 hours. This means that a tumor cell divides every 12.4 hour. This was the end of this lecture about doubling time. In the next video, we're going to look at exponential decay and half-life. Thanks for watching.